Hello, in this part of the tutorial series on Tinkercad, I'm going to show you how to create a new design and get started um, with the program. Now, in the previous video, you were shown how to create uh, an account with your Google account and sign into Tinkercad. When you first sign into Tinkercad with your new account, you shouldn't see anything on your screen like I do. These are all parts that I've created as demo um, parts for you know, classroom assignments and projects. So when you get here, don't worry if you don't see um, all these different objects, they shouldn't be there. In the top left corner, you're gonna see my recent designs and below it, it's gonna say create new design. You're gonna go ahead and left click on create new design and that's gonna launch you into the work plane where you can begin building um, your product or model in 3D. Now, in this tutorial video, I'm only gonna cover how to navigate and move within Tinkercad because that's a crucial step you need to have before you really begin to build because you're going to want to know how to move around. Okay, in the top left corner, if you have a Chromebook or a tablet um, or in general, if you just want to use it, you can left click on the cube um, and you can, while left clicking on the cube, just keep moving around and that's how you can navigate. You can even click on the cube and you can come on the arrow and click on the front and you can click on the right and it'll, it'll move you back and forth but you're not going to be able to see anything um, because I don't have an object on the build plane to look at. Now you can see I'm kind of all turned around. Um, if you hit the home button below the cube it'll always bring you back to that original view from where you started from so that's very nice. Now another way to move around uh, without using the cube is if you hold the right button down on your mouse and you keep holding the right button down and move left to right this is how you can pan around the work plane. If you keep holding the right button down and move forward and back, this is how you can tilt forward and backwards on the work plane. So that's nice. On the Chromebook, you can do the same thing. You can put two fingers down on the trackpad, push forward and backward, and then move left and right. And I'm doing this right now on my MacBook trackpad. So there's three ways for you to navigate around the build plane. If you have a mouse, I recommend using the right button, that is the easiest. If you have a trackpad, I recommend using um, the trackpad as well with two fingers. And if you want to use the cube, you can always use the cube. Now the next thing is zooming in. If you hit the plus sign and the minus sign, it's gonna let you zoom in and out on the work plane. That's really important when you're working on the object and you wanna get up close. Now if you take the wheel button or the wheel on the mouse, and you go backwards and forwards, this is how you can zoom in and out on the work plane. Um, and on the trackpad on a Chromebook or a trackpad device, two fingers forward moves you back and two fingers sliding down, uh, downward moves you in. So you can zoom in with the trackpad, the wheel, or the buttons over here in the top left corner. Now, uh, another thing I'm gonna show you is how to do what's called fit all in view and then um, why you would use that. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button and get back to my original view. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of jump ahead because I need to show this one last item on this toolbar and that's fit all in view. If you come over to the menu on the right and click on any object, left click or tap on uh, the trackpad. So if I tap on it with one finger on the trackpad on the Chromebook, uh, it'll select that object. So I select a box. Now I don't have to hold any buttons down. I can bring my mouse or I can drag with one finger on the trackpad the object to the build plane or the work plane and then left click or tap on the trackpad and I brought that object down to work on. Now you'll notice on that object that you have a lot of options on how you can edit it. You can actually change its length, width and height um, right here by dragging uh, the button if you want or even typing right here in the menu and sizing your object right here if you wanted to, which is really cool. Now we're getting a little head, but I just want to show this before I do anything. Um, you can also change your object's color. You can lock your objects and not, no changes can be made to it. And you can even turn it into a cutting tool like a hole so it'll remove from another object. Now, this is called fit view to selection. If I come over here and click this, it's gonna zoom in really big on the object and now you can hold the right button down on your mouse or you can hold two fingers down on your trackpad and slide and move around and look at your object while you're working on it. 
So that is a basic overview of how to navigate um, with Tinkercad. I hope this was helpful. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to build and all the different building tools that you have um, and control options with building when you're using Tinkercad.